For any China observer, the recently concluded two sessions offered a chance not to be missed to get a glimpse of how its grand blueprint for modernization turns into policies and actions. Among development and reform priorities discussed during the annual meetings of China's top legislature and political advisory body, China's drive for high-quality development, which features being innovative, coordinated, green, open and for everyone, offers opportunities for businesses across the globe. The opportunities for big companies now in China is better than ever before. There's a lot of niche areas where there's innovation, where there's development, whether it's in climate or health or finance or whatever it is, you only have to look at what Shenzhen is like, the whole Greater Bay Area and many other areas in China that are focused on innovation. So even if you're a small, even if you're an individual with an idea, uh, one of the best places to uh, develop it can be China. High quality development is deemed as the first and foremost task in China's modernization bid. The focus of China's development will shift from providing for people's basic needs toward delivering a better life quality for the people. In particular, China will enhance the capacity in science and technology, as well as innovation, accelerate the building of a modern industrial system and advance transition toward green development. China did a very strategic positioning of its economy, improving the investment environment, facilitating the entire value chain of investment. China has one of the best industrialization so far. Every year they invest in a lot in research and development. They want still to position themselves in the future industrialization process so that they can still remain very much competitive. I think the key thing that China has a huge internal market which is becoming increasingly sophisticated. It has some highly successful global companies and is world leader in some key and developing technologies and therefore it has a continuing underlying growth prospects. We can say that uh, the Chinese government uh, we continue its uh, target for high quality development to achieve more uh, qualified, more quality development and also focus on more high tech value added uh, productions. So uh, China will be continue to be engine of the development. Uh, there will be more further positive, positive economic growth and also more integration with the world economy. And I think that the, the engine of, of Chinese economic growth is very important for economies around the world. Incidentally, a lot of Western media accuses China of protectionism and so on. But to my knowledge, China is the only major economy that actually has major expos and conferences to actually promote imports and to, to encourage other countries to export to China. And I think that's a, a reflection of the importance of a vibrant, dynamic economy, not just for the Chinese people, but for, for the global economy and people around the world.